Hello and welcome back to um, uh, another standard video series. This time I'm recording with a red white token stack, but there are a few little updates from the ones that you've seen on coverage, played by like Sam Black and other people. So the deck is is a little lower to the ground. We'll talk about these amazing cards later, but. The deck is a little lower to the ground. We're running Raise the Alarms, Seekers, Rabble Masters, um, and then Eidolon of Countless Battles. And we're just... The Seekers and the Rabble Masters are the big big ones. We're really trying to... <clears throat> to close the game out quickly, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> and the... Um, the way we're doing that is by either Rabble Master going unchecked or bestowing a lot of countless battles onto something. Or by just keeping our opponent's board clear with Chain to the Rocks, Lightning Strike, and Stoke the Flames while Seeker or some tokens get in there. And Chain to the Rocks is basically the best removal spell in the standard right now, competing with like Thoughtseize and Murderous Cut. And Eidolon is, is a, a game changer. It's just really great at, at um, overpowering our opponent's board states. Because it creates such a huge power and toughness boost. And it, uh, it's if we bestow onto a token and force them to spend a removal spell on the token, we still like keep the Eidolon at very little cost to us. We just lose like a 1-1. One, one. So the basic deck is we're trying to get an advantage on board either through Eidolon or through our removal. We're either making our creatures bigger than theirs or just killing their creatures outright. But there is a little bit of spice that I've thrown into the deck, which I'll talk about right now. So Hushwing Griff is really sweet. Um, most of these decks run Wingmate Rock, Sarkon, or Stormbreath Dragon in the 5 slot. But instead of that, I think Wingmate Rock is the best of those options. I'm not running it because I want to run Hushwing Griff. And what Hushwing Griff does really well is it's a great at um, neutering a lot of the uh, the powerhouses house cards in the um, the current format. It takes care of Siege Rhino, Sidisi, Hornet Queen. Seder Wayfinder isn't tremendously powerful on its own, but it enables a lot of those strategies. Um, Eidolon of Blossoms, Wingmate Rock, as I mentioned. <clears throat> it's just a, a very powerful, or not, not necessarily powerful, but it, it prevents your opponent from doing powerful things. So it's, it's a very, um, very active card in general. <laughs> And um, it's great, but then because we're running Hushwing Griff, I want another 5 drop to run. Because the deck wants some number of 5s. We're running 24 lands and removal, so the games are going to go a little long. We need a sort of trump other than just Eidolon of Countless Battles. That's where Dictate of Heliod comes in. And Dictate is something that I wanted to try out with all of the tokens. We have. Um, Raise, Goblin, Round Master, and Hordley Outburst. So it's 12 ways to make tokens, and then 6 other like relatively small but uh, potent creatures in Seeker and Hushwing Griff. And so the idea is that we'll have usually more creatures on the battlefield than our opponents. So Dictate will be... <sighs> a massive, um, massive swing, like turning all of our tokens into 3-3s three and then making Hushwing Griff a 4-3 in the air and the turn you play it, Seeker of the Way is a 5-5 five, five lifelink um, so it's, it's really big and it's been providing some pretty huge tempo swings and giving me the edge that I need to close out the game. I think this version might be even better than the version with Wingmate Rock, just because 
Griff is very good against a lot of the meta, and Dictate is just a, a very powerful magic card in general that I think is pretty underplayed. Um, the mana base has some number of evolving wilds to fit the, the Chain to the Rocks concerns, but otherwise it's fine. Pretty standard Battlefield Forge, Temples, One Confluence, Basics. Nothing much to talk about there. Sideboard, um, for a lot of like grindier matchups, we want Ash Cloud Phoenixes and Bermazes. Suspension Fields is a, a card that I think is underplayed in general. It's great in this format. Uh, it hits almost all of Abzan Aggro's creatures. It's deceptively good against Blue White Heroic because it hits the, their creatures once they've tar been targeted. Um, all sorts of things that just make it very um, very effective in general and a great answer, so I'm running a few of those. I'm running the fourth lightning strike is another card against aggressive strategies because it's just the best option. The most efficient option. And then some number of erase and glare of heresy to deal with problematic enchantments and permanents in general. Great against Blue White Heroic, Jeskai Ascendancy, whatever. And then, yeah, Phoenixes and Bermazes are for when the game goes long. Or for when I need a really big body on the ground, Bermaz comes in. And we can, we can sort of transition to a more resilient, like, instead of flooding the board, like we do game one, we can play one threat at a time <coughs> and sort of grind through our opponent's removal if, they, if they're a removal heavy deck. Also gives us better top decks against Thoughtseize decks. So, uh, anyways, keep watching, and round one will be up shortly.